ई सी जी इन कार्डिय क्री सिंक्रनसेशन थेरापी और सी आर टी वाइल इवालुवेटिंग एन ई सी जी इन सी आर टी और बैवेंट्रिकल पेजिंग वी हाव टू डिसाइड वेदर द डिवाइस इज कैप्चरी बोत् वेंट्रिकल और ओणली वन वेंट्रिकल इन लीड वन ए पॉजिटीव क्यू आर एस इज इंडिकेटीव ऑफ रईट वेंट्रिकल पेसिंग वाइल बैवेंट्रिकल पेसिंग शोस ए नेगटीव क्यू आर एस ऑलमोस्ट लाइक एन इनवेटेड पैटर्न कंपेर्ड टू आर वि पेसिंग Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. In the complexes one and three in lead one in the current ECG, the pattern is suggestive of RV pacing. The presence of RV in V1 indicates that there is definitely a contribution from left ventricular pacing. Complex 2 looks like an ectopic bit over which a pacing artifact is superimposed. Though it may appear to be a pseudo fusion, it is more likely to be safety pacing in CRTD. The large pacing artifacts suggest that it is unipolar pacing mode. The AV interval is quite short, 120 milliseconds, and the atria are being tracked well. The paced QRS complexes have a leftward axis. Width of the paced QRS of 120 milliseconds. Also, it suggests that it is univentricular pacing rather than biventricular pacing. Leads one, two, and three are most useful in deciding whether it is RV, LV, or biventricular pacing. Since the pattern varies from individual to individual, it is good to preserve the tracings of all modes of pacing for future comparison. Changes in pace complexes, in particular of the biventricular and left ventricular complexes. may indicate possible left ventricular lead displacement please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates thank you